Hello, my name is Doug Darfus. Today we're going to be talking about the metric system and how to convert within the metric system. It's important that we learn the metric system because of our global society today. Many countries in the world use the metric system and since we'll be working with those countries, we need to be able to use the metric system as well. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to convert any measurement to another measurement within the same metric units. To do conversions between the metric system, we use the metric system chart. In the middle of the chart is the three basic units, the meter, the liter, and the gram. Then around it are the base tens. You can see that 10 to the zero is the basic meter, liter, gram. And to the far left, we have kilo, hecto, deca, then deca, centa, and milla. For an example, 10 cubed is the kilo prefix, and it means 1,000, and so there are 1,000 kilometers in a meter. The hardest part about the metric system is remembering the order and all of the prefixes, and so there are many mnemonics to do that. My favorite is king, henry, died, unfortunately, drinking, chocolate, milk. And you can see that the first letter of each word um, goes with each of the prefixes. K for kilo, H for hecto, D for deca, U for units, D for deca, C for centa, and M for milla. This is a nice way to remember the order of the metric units. So let's do an example. Our first example is a typical hurricane is about 600 kilometers across. We want to know how many meters across is a typical hurricane. So we're going to start with 600 kilometers and place it on our chart. Here we have 600 kilometers on our chart. We want to go from kilometers to meters. To do this, we'd have to go one, two, three units to the right. Moving to the right is the same as multiplying. Three units would be 1,000, so we could multiply by 1,000. Or we could take the decimal point where it is and move it three places to the right, one, two, three. We fill in the holes with zeros, and we get 600 kilometers is the same as 600,000 meters. And so a typical hurricane is 600,000 meters across. Another example, many commercial toilets use 1,325 centiliters of water with each flush. We would like to design a better toilet that uses less water, and we want to know how many liters of water this is. Again, we're going to use the metric chart, and we're going to start with 1,325 centiliters. We want to take centiliters and change it to liters, and so to do this, we're going to have to go one, two places to the left. Going to the left is the same as dividing. Two places is 100, so we'd be dividing by 100 or multiplying by 1 one hundredth. Or we can just take the decimal point and move it two places to the left. This gives us 13.25 liters. So each flush of a toilet is 13.25 liters. A third example, a slug is a mass that will accelerate at one foot per second per second when a one pound force acts upon it. A slug is equal to 14,600 grams. We want to know how many kilograms is a slug. Again, we're going to use the metric chart. We're going to start with 14,600 grams. And to get to kilograms, we need to move one, two, three places to the left. That's the same as dividing by 1,000, or just take the decimal point and move it three places to the left. This will give us 14.6 kilograms. So a slug is 14.6 kilograms. To review, we use this metric system chart to help us convert within the metric system. You should practice this a few times 
and eventually be able to do it by yourself.